Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by CockroachZone.com. As the title suggests, today we'll be briefly discussing whether or not it's safe to eat food after it has been manipulated or touched by a cockroach. Before we get started, let's take a look at this topic overview. Never eat food that cockroaches have touched. Roaches carry a host of bacteria and diseases because they eat and walk through decaying matter. When they crawl on your food, they can transfer allergens, illnesses, mold spores, decay, and poison. This can make you ill, especially if you're in a vulnerable risk group. Symptoms include food poisoning, the flu, or even harmful diseases like hepatitis. Let's just address the obvious. After all, there's really no reason to escape it, and no point to escape it. This is pretty much an open and shut topic, if we're honest. If a cockroach has touched your food, it should never, under any circumstances, be consumed. The food in question, all of it, should be thrown out immediately. And while a roach on your food should be a major cause for concern, as it could point to a potential infestation in respect to this specific topic, yeah, that's a hard pass. Cockroach on your food, do not consume, do not pass go, find the nearest trash can. And let's cover several reasons why you should do so. We all know that roaches are disgusting, but why? After all, roaches are not inherently dirty or able to produce harmful substances, so why are they so foul? Well, it's a mixture of what they consume and what they come in contact with. Cockroaches will eat most anything. This includes dead insects, feces, mold, dead skin, rotting food, etc. The byproduct of this consumption is disease. Just walking through some of it can create harmful issues in terms of obscene coating that can cover the roach itself. Roaches can carry bacteria, fungus, allergens, viruses, spores, etc. As we mentioned, if a roach comes in contact with your food, after all of this type of foul consumption and contact, you essentially have toxins with legs on the prowl. If you were to consume food touched by a roach, you would be eating contaminated substances. In essence, you would be ingesting traces of most everything the roach had either consumed directly or come in contact with. Roaches carry multiple types of bacteria, parasites, and fungi strains, in large measure due to what we mentioned in the aforementioned subsection. As it relates to your personal health, you can potentially subject yourself to intestinal issues that can promote flu-like symptoms, diarrhea, and vomiting due to food poisoning. In addition to the harmful things that a roach can consume and the bacteria-riddled exterior, that roaches can develop, they can also become marked with poisons from commercial bug sprays. Roaches, a lot of the time, are coated in some type of bait, trap, poison, or the remnants of actual bug spray. You can probably see where this is going. If a bug that is covered in raid, for example, takes a walk across your turkey sandwich, then you could potentially consume some of the poison yourself. Dizziness, confusion, and abdominal pain are all signs of poisoning. While this type of occurrence is extremely rare, it can and does happen. Let this be a warning as to what we're truly dealing with here and how dangerous cockroaches can be. Keep in mind, it's not really what they are, it's what they eat and where they go. That's what poses the biggest threat. Whether you have an infestation or just a few invaders, there are positive steps you can take to ensure that roaches do not destroy your food and ruin your meals. The first step is to avoid the use of thin plastic containers. No plastic bags or thin bowls. Beef things up a bit. Thicker plastic with tight lids will always get the job done. Another positive measure involves keeping your food airtight. This goes back to solid lids. No gaps. That's the key. Step three involves putting food away. Don't leave extra food on dinner plates. Nothing uncovered. Cover all pots and pans. Nothing for open season. If you know you're going to have leftovers, be sure to put them away. Loosely contained items in a dark kitchen, well, that's just an invitation for a problem. A problem that you'll probably never see. The next positive course of action is all about cleaning up spills and crumbs. Here again, no loose food. Even the smallest piece of food left behind on the kitchen counter or the kitchen floor will signal mealtime for any cockroaches that are lurking in the shadows. Do a full wipe down of your counters and make sure that the floor is free of any and all food debris. And our final step involves inspecting your fridge. 
Make sure it's clean and free of uncovered food items, spills, crumbs, etc. Also, be sure to remove any expired foods. And on that note, that will close things out for the video portion of our information. If you'd like to know more about this topic, please visit us at cockroachzone.com. There you'll find a full-length and highly detailed article dedicated to this very subject matter. Are you currently watching us off-site? If so, please click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to all of this valuable information. And while this topic is indeed very much along the lines of stating the obvious, it never hurts to make sure that things are in order, and it really all starts with protecting your kitchen. You'll never have to worry about consuming contaminated food in this manner if everything in your kitchen and fridge is clean and sealed. Keep those roaches at bay, and keep your family healthy. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.